All right, coach. Uh, first game of everybody back, and you know there was a little bit of a minutes restriction. Yeah. Is this kind of what a preview of what your playoff lineup is going to kind of look like? The rotation of it. I don't know what it's going to look like, to be honest with you, because I don't know game to game. Uh, we don't know how Satu is going to feel when she wakes up tomorrow. Uh, we don't know how MJ is going to feel. So it's just a we just go with the flow and 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 I ask um, each individual to be ready to play basketball like we want to play. So I don't I can't I can't really tell you. I, but if we have the whole team, if we have the whole team healthy, right? We short, we will shorten the rotation. You know, because everybody shorten the rotation. You know, and if somebody may have to come in for two minutes, but they got to be productive in that two minutes. But um, whatever, we don't, I can't predetermine what's going to happen. And with injuries, does, is it any bit of a negative effect having to travel with these injuries? You know, you're going to, going to Chicago, a little time to kind of rest here. You're going to play, getting off, you know. No, that's why we're going two days early right. okay. to, mm -hmm. um, to go in and lock in and be focused um, with a mindset to win. You know, uh, we have our medical staff with us. Uh, I think doctors travels in, in the playoff, so we'll have everybody with us and we'll get the treatment that everybody needs, you know. Um, but no, it's it's fine. That's why we're leaving two days early. It's playoff time. You know, it's do or die. What does this victory mean to you guys mentally as you move It on? means everything because we earned the seventh spot. We didn't wait for somebody to win. We held our own destiny and we finished the right way. You know, unfortunately, I'm a big fan of, of Derek Fisher and, and Coach T is, is my assistant from San Antonio and I hate that for them, but it was about us tonight and what we needed to do and come in with the right mindset and uh, know that we earned the seventh spot. Uh, we didn't have to wait on someone to win. I think last year they had to wait, uh, they won in Washington or something, right. and then they were out, you know, and, and, and we, we always held our own destiny. So, which was huge for us and what I wanted to do and what we wanted to do as a team. How many practices were you guys going to do Two. Two. Yep. Uh, Wednesday. Yes. Tomorrow they have off. And following up earlier, you said you were going to use the team as a race to value the team. Mm -hmm. you know, the, team is over. the growth. Uh, I was just telling them, I said, you know, uh, did we make mistakes? Of course we did, you know, um, but we made limited mistakes. Uh, the growth is the fact that at the beginning of the year or midway through the season, oh, we would have lost that game. You know, we were able to close it on, we, we made shots and we got stops. That's growth, you know, and it was not just one individual it was a collective, um, Arike made a three and um, Gray got a steal and uh, easy uh, layup, uh, tattoo, you know, it was just a team effort. And so that's the growth that I want to see. Arike playing with patience. I mean, she was seven for 11, four for six. That's growth, that's growth. You know, Izzy, uh, I can't say enough about Izzy um, being out for two weeks you know, with COVID and now coming back seven for seven, 21 minutes. She was in restriction with restricted minutes. Um, she was scheduled for 20. Um, she got 21 and 41, so a minute and 41, but that's okay. And then what Mary does for us uh, as a starter and, and, and coming off the bench is huge. Uh, the energy she brings, um, the basketball IQ she brings, um, of course, the scoring from her, Enrique, is amazing, but they do take pride in, in assists as well. And so they really move the basketball and, and really trust their teammates, which is huge. How important for this team was it to kind of have to grow up pretty quick to kind of confirm themselves that they can make the playoffs? Well, I, I, to be honest, I, I gave them no choice. You know, when I came in, I told them my expectations. All offseason, from the time I got hired in December, I talked to them once a week each individual, we chatted, we, whatever we did, and, and told them their goals, our goals as a team, and personal goals that we expect them to do and to accomplish 
so we can be successful. We're not waiting on development. We're not waiting three years, two years or whatever to play. We're good enough to win now. I've been in this league for 25 years and I see when I saw this team in person and being here, I knew that we was gonna be something special. You know, and that's why I said the fifth or the sixth pick, I mean, uh, spot for us, because I knew the capability uh, that we had uh, as a team and what we could do on both sides of the basketball. Uh, at times this season, the team has kind of struggled to come out of the second half to you know, have a really productive third quarter. You had one of those tonight, 24 points in the third. What did you like of the team coming out of, coming out of the half? The focus. Uh, I didn't have to say a whole lot. Uh, they knew the mistakes and they was ready to correct the mistakes. That's growth. <laughs> I didn't go in there yelling or whatever. It was just about, coach, we understand. We know what we have to do. We got it. And they did it. I think that's extremely notable because there's times like we come out of games like, I don't know what happened. You know, it's just right. some reason y'all, it's, it's uh, plays different sometimes. Yeah. And, you know, this time for them to, you know, go into halftime and correct it themselves. You have that, that, that's that's growth. Perfect timing, you no, know, that's right? growth. Yeah. yeah. Because playoff is a different season. You know, because one thing about our team, you never know which team you're going to get. <laughs> and if you mess around and get the good team, <laughs> it's dangerous, you know. Um, but I appreciate you guys. You know, the, the, the one thing, what because my team is still young, you know. Uh, and and I, uh, I asked them to do a lot of stuff outside of their comfort zone, you know. And kind of go away from what they know and what they're comfortable with. And so it's a process. So it was a wave, all right? It was a wave. And uh, I appreciate you guys for understanding the way and the process because you have to understand when you're trying to build something special for years to come, the foundation is very important, okay? The foundation is very important. So whatever type of weather come, we can withstand it as a team and as individual. So that's the process. So we built a great foundation and we're gonna to continue to build on top of that. For sure. Uh, they picked the wrong coach. <laughs> I hate losing, like I hate losing as a player. Uh, fortunately, you know, I was in San Antonio when we were losing uh, as a coach. Uh, but then I went to Las Vegas and we won. Uh, I'll tell you a funny story. We was uh, in the playoff in Las Vegas. Um, and it was the opportunity, not, not the playoff, the last game. Uh, we had to play uh, Seattle. Had to play Seattle. And uh, so the coaching staff, Bill was like, well, we're just going to rest players. And I was like, no. Let's win, let's finish first. Cause you never know. It's hard to get first place in the WBA, you know? And, uh, and I say also, you fin we finished first, Wilson's gonna get MVP, you know? And that's exactly what happened. It's, it's very important that, uh, like I say, it's very important that you respect the game. Cause when you lose respect for the game, the game will be taken away from you. And that's the most important thing I tell my players every day and practice. Play like it's your last practice. Play like it's like your last game and be productive. And when you leave in between those four lines, you did all you, 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 you could do. And, and that's the most important thing, that you're able to lay down and be, and, and be at peace with your performance. Okay. Oh, so speaking of San Antonio, it's been I mean, I'm not mad for I think 13 years since any, you know, team in the state of Texas has been in the playoffs. I think 08 was the last time San Antonio was in it. Mm -hmm. um, I could be completely wrong. It got to be 09 because I retired. 09. 09? Okay. Yeah. So how does it feel just like to be in the back in like the Texas legacy of producing really good, you know, WFPA no, team, it's... you know, with the Comets and everything, my hometown Houston. So San Antonio, oh, yeah, for sure. now Dallas having their turn. How does that just feel for you? It's huge. I, I've been living here since 2004. You know, it was always a dream of mine to, to actually coach in the place that I live. So uh, it's great. Uh, Dallas is the mega of, of basketball sports. 
you know, especially women's sport. I mean, you have a, we have a lot of uh, Dallas, Texas uh, players in the WNBA. NACA, you have uh, Gray, you have a lot of players. Brittany Griner, she's from Houston. You have a lot of players, you know, and yeah, Atkins, uh, Charlie, you know, it's, it's a bunch of players and, and to take pride in that, you know, who knows? You never know, you know? So we're trying to still continue to build something special here. Thank you guys. Appreciate it, thank you. We're doing some attempts now. That's bad. All right, guys, take it away. Big win tonight, obviously, and you, you already had playoffs punched before this, but how does it feel now to know that the next game you play is another playoff game which you have seen before? Um, I think, you know, from, from before this game and the Liberty game, the playoffs kind of started when it secures your spot or it um, affects other teams or your team's seating. So even after the even after the Olympic break, it was like this is the time where we we need to make the playoff push. So slowly switching our mentality and trying to understand that it's a completely different mindset and a completely different game from the regular season, and um, just trying to use my experience from not not only being in the playoffs, I didn't get to play a lot, but just to be able to see the atmosphere and how how it affected our team in Los Angeles and Connecticut when I got to watch and stuff. So just try to carry that into our team and, and give my experience. Uh, how much of the unity are we going to come with the season? You know, we saw that assist earlier in the game. How much of the advantage of that? You know, you guys can use it as a long team. I think when, when Arike and I, when we're playing together and we're patient, it gets really hard to stop because now we're making reads off the defense and not just predetermining that we may shoot a shot or something. As soon as we start to um, slow down, play at our pace, it kind of instills confidence in everyone else too. So yeah, Arike threw me the layup and we got a great basket from that. I think that energy flows into the whole team and that's kind of what we're looking for. And we talked about it from the beginning of this season, like, yeah, last year we, um, we played together really well, but it didn't really so much flow into the rest of the team. So that was our main goal this year was to instill confidence in the whole team and have that energy circulate. What do you think will be the, you know, the keys for a win Thursday? Um, well, Chicago's a great team. So kind of controlling that paint on Sluk, she's a great passer. And then, um, defending the three-point line, they're great shooters, and, and having our shell defense set. I feel like when we play team defense, we're hard to score on, and when we we take good shots on offense, it's hard to get out and transition on us. So try to focus on us and take good shots and uh, be ready to play team defense. Now playoffs is a different atmosphere. But you mm -hmm. have one season series against them, and when you guys have played them, you played really well. I guess do you see any advantage going in Thursday? You know, you guys have got the confidence to beat them already. Yeah, I mean, I think it helps to beat a team already before you go play them in the playoffs. But again, it's a it's a whole different different game. It doesn't to me. I think people aren't even thinking about oh, did I did we beat them in regular season? Did we not? Like nobody cares. They just got to be better than us for forty minutes. So um, single elimination makes it a little tricky because you got to be ready to play and be the better team that day for forty minutes. And ever since you got here, you've heard the chirping about. This is a young team. You know, every every time something happens, it's a young mistake. Somebody brings it up. Oh yeah. How do you, when the playoff setting gets here, you know, when tough moments come, how do you keep the team to keep their heads? I mean, I think that's just an easy excuse, honestly. Like, yes, we do make some some young young mistakes, I guess, but um, I think it's more of more of us staying in the game mentally for forty minutes. Young, old, rookie last year playing it doesn't matter like it's the playoffs so you got to think the game through and and play like you're not young because nobody cares that you're young in the playoffs they are coming to win so you know, obviously last year being the was your first season in college park city mm -hmm. starting the season off against los angeles and in, in mid how would you evaluate your group um i think i think the growth of the team is that 
probably back in May, we may have lost that game. They started to come back and they started to get momentum. Uh, Wheeler hit a couple of shots. NECA hit some really tough threes. Um, so that's kind of easy to just throw the towel in and be like, whatever, we don't have to win this game. But it's just, I think we have more of a sense of pride and more of a sense of uh, urgency on the defensive end and, and a little bit more sense of like, we don't want to play to not lose. We want to play to win. And I think that's what we're doing better now. Um, I think I made better decisions in September than I did in May. Um, I think I had a couple of turnovers when I played them in May. And uh, this time, I think I played with more patience and uh, looking to get my teammates involved more. Anybody else? Cool. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. 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 Good luck. Uh, I got it from this designer in LA. He custom makes sweaters. Yeah. I need that. He's dope. Can I take this off? That's my girl. <laughs> That's a throwback. Okay. How's it feel to be back? I am very happy to be back. Thank God that I'm even here, to be honest. It was some days where I was like really struggling. So to be able to come in and just get a win, most importantly, and just, you know, kind of come back to my game a little bit. I shocked myself, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I was, I was really happy about it. And how does it feel going into playoffs? It's, we needed that momentum. We need to just have just positivity going into Chicago. And I think our focus is just totally different now. We're gonna be able to just lock in and focus and just take care of the task at hand. We just, we feel happy, but we're not gonna take advantage of it. We're, we're gonna act like, we're gonna act like, we're just gonna play all out. I just wish y'all could hear the conversations that we have. Like, we just, we just gotta go hard. You know, everybody just, if it's one and done, we're gonna put everything out there. So our mindset is just to take, to go crazy for us. In terms of being in shape, how are you feeling on the court? Um, it was a little difficult just as far as the breathing. You know how that goes. It takes a while to kind of get that back from one being off and, of course, being sick. So um, that was that was tough, but I feel like I just – I didn't want to think about it because I knew we needed to win. So – and I'll have to deal with it later. So um, I felt a little bit better now with the win. That's good. Cool. Thanks, y'all. Uh, I guess not really. I don't think, you know, when I was drafted, I was really thinking of that. I was, I guess I was saying I was young, but I'm really not that much older but I was just you know ready to do whatever I can to help the team but you know it's worked out so far so I'm definitely blessed yeah it took a lot it took everybody like it took Izzy it took Satu coming back it took Mo and like it took everybody even Kay you know when she got in for 10 minutes, or whatever, those 10 minutes were big or nine minutes, whatever, tie. So it took everybody. And that's good that, you know, everybody's able to contribute. Even the rookies who didn't play, they're cheering, you know, they're slapping hands every time we come to the bench. And that's what we need, definitely, you know. And this was like a playoff game. Uh, they went on a run. We had to, you know, control the game. And coach even said in the locker room, you know, back then we probably would have ended up losing that game. Like we lost a lot of games in like the last five minutes, but we definitely stepped up and, you know, handled business. So, you know, I'm proud of the team and, you know, we got to carry that into Thursday. Yeah, uh, defense, uh, I was saying earlier, you know, we both can score. We both have scores, threats, threes inside. So it really comes down to who can get the most stops. And, you know, that's the plan. Yeah, I mean, everybody, you know, gets on the same page. They see us on the same page. Then, you know, everybody tries to be on the same page, which is good. That's what we have to do. We have to bring everybody with us. And Satu, too, you know, she's a leader as well. So if we're all in sync and, you know, doing 
seeing each other, being in the right places, like it's, it'll be hard to stop us. Have you seen a crowd like this? Uh, the New York game was probably the closest I think we had to it. That was great energy. And then, you know, today it was amazing, especially for the last game. You know, every, a lot of people came out. A lot of people said it was their first game too. So I'm glad they had fun. I'm definitely glad we got a win for them. I don't know if that's true. I think they only wanted to see us do well so they could get in the playoffs, but I appreciate the support. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously you go to Reno, you have like a shooter. I mean, you're super consistent tonight, but you're also like sneaky and good at being a passer. And I feel like just that's like always, you know, overlooked from your shooting. But you had some like really great assists, like one that was like a tic-tac-toe to Marina. So can you kind of like talk about how your passing kind of has – grown throughout the season and also like since you know your previous two years ago yeah I mean I think that's overlooked a lot just because I am such a you know I like to have the ball in my hands I like to shoot but uh you know when when I have to I definitely pass and even I mean we have great players so that's credit to them for knocking it down but I mean people aren't you know if they have stuff to say they aren't going to talk about the good things like that so it is what it is yeah. I'm sorry, I'm uh well we are a young team and you know a young team being able to get into playoffs like that and like you said two all-stars olympian that's the growth of the wnba that young players can definitely you know have an impact on the game like that and uh with especially you know personally with dallas like we're it's only up like a lot of us are 23, 24, 25, 26. Like we're not old at all. And you know, a lot of us are on rookie contracts too. So we're really not going anywhere anytime soon. And, you know, to be performing like this and we still, you know, aren't even fully, everybody doesn't even know the league that much yet. And we're still learning and growing, but still performing like this. There's, we only can go up from here. Good luck. 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 Good luck.